Okay, this tutorial is going to be to how to connect an MPC to Pro Tools to control Guru or any other software. First, you're going to connect the MIDI cable, the output of the MPC to the input of the hardware of the Pro Tools. You have to notice one thing. My MPC got two output. Output A, output B. I use output A. Then from the output from the Pro Tools to the input, MIDI input of the MPC. I use input one. My MPC got two. One and two. I use one. So it's MIDI in one, MIDI out eight. Okay. Then I go to the main screen and I select here what is saying drum. You move the jug to MIDI and set up 1A. So that's it in the main screen. Now we go to the MIDI screen. I had already set up. So what you have to do is go here. Where it says sync in, you put MIDI clock and receive on. When they said sync out, MIDI clock on. You will notice on your Pro Tool hardware if I change on and off, it will happen this. right here. If I turn on the MIDI clock and turn off, that will happen. That means the signal from the MPC is going through the hardware. So now you know it's working. Now we have to go back to the software and set it up. Okay. So first thing you're going to do Set up, you go to MIDI, MIDI Studio, Window, Show MIDI Window. I already have the MPC set up, it's here. What you're gonna do is this you're gonna press Add Device. And this will show up. What you're going to do is press the mouse and drag a cable to the out and do the same here to the input. Okay? So to know if it's working, you hit. Test setup, and when you hit the pad, it will do that noise. So you know it's working. Very important. Close, quit, and then go to options. You have to click that. You have to turn it on like that. If not, ain't gonna work. So make sure it's checked. After that, go to MIDI and just check everything. Go to Big Clock and check. That is checked. Set up and 
Input Devices, make sure it's click. It's all in the same place. You have to go to the setup MIDI and do the rest. So now I have a Guru. I already had some sounds on it. And that's it. Maybe when you throw a sound in different path, it won't be the same. It won't be the same here. Let's say I want that, that snare here, the one that I dragged right now. I just go to program. And look for that sound in the pad and start moving it. Um, I'm using my iPhone, so it's a little difficult. Let's say this part I want to. So that's it. You can put the sound in any pad you want. So I hope you like it, the video. If something is missing, let me know. Uh, thanks.